Have you ever stopped to think about how a pill can change the way your brain works? Many people take antidepressants, but few really understand how they work. Today, I'm going to explain, in a simple and straightforward way, what these medications actually do inside your brain. And maybe the explanation will surprise you. Imagine that the brain is like a big city full of lights. These lights are the neurons, and they communicate with each other through chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. In depression, some of these lights become dimmer. The communication between neurons doesn't work properly. Three main neurotransmitters are most affected. Serotonin, linked to mood and well-being. Norepinephrine, which provides energy and motivation. And dopamine, responsible for the sensation of pleasure. When their levels are low or dysregulated, a person may feel deep sadness, fatigue, lack of motivation, and that's where antidepressants come in. Antidepressants are not happy pills. They don't change your personality and they don't create artificial joy. What they do is correct chemical imbalances so that the brain can return to functioning in a healthy way. The most commonly used are the SSRIs, such as fluoxetine or serotroline. Here's how they work. When one neuron releases serotonin, another captures it and part of it is pulled back. SSRIs block this reuptake, leaving more serotonin available between neurons. This gradually improves mood and the sense of well-being. SNRIs work in a similar way, but they also increase norepinephrine, helping with energy and motivation. There are also triclysics and MAOIs, which are older and less used today because of side effects, but they pave the way for modern medications. But there's an important detail. You can't expect results in just one or two days. The brain needs time to reorganize. It's like turning on a light, but the wires take a few weeks to carry the energy to the bulb. That's why the effect of antidepressants usually appears after two to six weeks. Are they only used for depression? Many people think so, but actually not. Antidepressants are also used for anxiety, panic disorder, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, fibromyalgia and chronic pain, and even some eating disorders. One of the biggest myths is antidepressants are addictive. The truth is they do not cause chemical dependence, but they must be used under medical supervision. Another point, never stop taking them on your own. Withdrawal should be gradual and always guided by a healthcare professional. In summary, antidepressants are not a crutch, but a tool. They don't change who you are, they just help your brain restore chemical balance so you can live with more quality of life. If this explanation made sense to you, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who needs to better understand how these medications work. See you next time!